uh, I would like to call it, uh, you can say, being um, mirror, mirror, of, mirror of the being, mirror of awareness, you can say, or mirror-like awareness. Mirror of awareness is the name of the technique, let's say, okay? Every day, minimum 15 minutes in the morning, in the evening, not in the night, before, uh, two hours before the uh, sleep, you stop. So, minimum 15 minutes uh, twice a day, but uh, you can do it more also. What we do is, in this uh, technique, is you just sit for 15 minutes and uh, uh, you don't create any you don't create any goal for yourself that what I will get in this you know so there is no goal that you are creating you are sitting and uh, uh, you must uh, close your eyes because if you don't close your eyes you will keep looking so you have you have closed your eyes and uh, you are there and you don't move now just uh, feel that you are a mirror of consciousness mirror of awareness meaning you are aware you are you are a mirror like awareness so everything comes in front of you is known to you in some way meaning it ref, it is reflected in the mirror of the being of the self but you the mirror don't move you remain still you know like this. you don't don't move like this. You know? When any object is moving, still you remain still. Any object is outside of your view, don't do anything. Don't. You know. And when your uh, object is coming in, it's something very nice, don't try to hold it. Like, you know, it's like some beautiful object is coming, then no still remain inactive. When some ugly uh, object is coming, then like, no, still mm, you remain totally open. You just fix uh, one pattern and follow that. One pattern is, you are um, mirror of consciousness, mirror of awareness and not moving. That's all. Now you do whatever you want to do. Not, I mean, you allow whatever is happening. You don't do anything. It can um, clearly show you who you are, what you are. And you are asking, Mm, if, it, if we can do it more than 15 minutes. Minimum is 15 minutes. As I said before also, uh, more than 15 minutes, if it is really effective, if it is really effective and you can sense that, yes, it is effective, then continue. Otherwise, break it. Take a break. Even if you want to immediately do it, take a break of 5-10 minutes. Because the thing is, effectiveness of this technique is more important than the duration of it. And uh, mostly I have seen after 15 minutes, uh, we kind of tend to feel satisfied if it is very effective and go lazy, a little bit sleepy, you know. But we are not as alert as we were uh, in, during this 15 minutes. 15 minutes is goes. the sharpness goes. And that the, it is the sharpness which is, which is going to work actually, nothing else. So it doesn't matter what do you see in front of this mirror. What matters is how much mirror you remain, how much sharp intact mirror you remain, you know. But it doesn't mean that you need to be tensed. You you are relaxed totally. Or you can I can say you are neither tensed nor relaxed. Yes, just whatever it is. And if you can do like this, very easily 
you will discover the mirror of awareness. So the mirror of awareness is already present. It is just to discover it. So it is the, the very nature of yourself, nature of your core. By by practicing it, you are kind of allowing yourself to fall into your own nature. You know. And you will see many deeper layers of yourself moving in front of this mirror. And the more these uh, deeper layers are discovered to be movable, not stable, the more you are discovering yourself even deeper than that, which is stable. You know, so it's like a two-fold process. It's like you have been able, to, you are able to see your bodily movements, sensations, mind things like this and so you are holding this position of the stability and then if you continue like this some movement happens at a very deeper layer of your self the self which you think you are and you you feel oh even this can change what I call myself also changes now it is no more myself because it is, it has come in front of the mirror now, yeah. and like this, very easily, you fall back into the uh, nature of yourself, which is uh, like a m- mirror, which is a mirror-like awareness. Yeah. Minimum, I would recommend two days, uh, two times a day, in the morning, in the evening, but not in the night. It may create, uh, it may disturb your sleep. So, two hours before the sleep, you must stop this practice or any awareness practice actually for that matter. Otherwise, it creates too much awareness and you feel like not sleeping. You know? But Just like sitting. Yeah. Yes, sitting, whatever way you find suitable. Uh, so sitting and there is a natural tendency when you you sit like this because you are not doing anything in this sitting so there there is a natural tendency of going to sleep either in the body like physical sleep you will feel like this or you may feel like going in some kind of state of trance in the mind where thoughts are not moving but also you are not so much alive you can say so much so much awake Remain awake, be aware of this. In the beginning it will be like this. So I have seen many people who are doing it perfectly and without any effect. So it is not effective for them. The reason, first of all, it is like a mixture of the bodily sleep combined with the mental sleep. So it it gives a flavor of uh, stillness. But it is a very dead stillness. So what you have to do is, bring this also in front of the mirror. When sleep is happening, it's okay. So now, sleep is happening in front of the mirror. You continue, you continue, still continue. Don't lose this position of the the mirror. And it's like too much, too much, too much, too much. Okay, so let that this too much also continue. And you will break it. You only are being the mirror of the um, awareness. So it's not how much you are able to see, it is how long you are able to be the mirror. This is the effectiveness of this technique. So don't worry what what goes in front of it. Many times it will be like empty mirror. And you cannot imagine the joy of being this empty mirror of the awareness. That is the deepest uh, mm, uh, seeing uh, one one has. Awareness is there, and there is nothing which uh, you are aware of. So there is no content. There is no no object in the in the mirror. Just purity of it. And trust me, all this is real. <laughs> there is no philosophy here. 
इट्स ऑल टोटली 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 रियल यू जस्ट यू हैव टू गिव इट अ ट्राई यू हैव टू गिव इट अ ट्राई बियॉन्ड योर बिलीव बियॉन्ड योर फैसिनेशन फॉर अदर थिंग्स एंड इट कैन एंड डू मेरिकल्स यू नो आई आई विल टेल यू हाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल बिकॉज ऑफ दिस यू आर फॉलोइंग इन टू योर ट्रू नेचर and also many times we get get confused i mean starting from the very basic state very mundane ordinary state of a human being we get confused many times you know like a, we get into a deadlock of energies what to do now you know so you you get into a state of confusion where you feel like uh, should i buy this mobile phone or that mobile phone you know i'm talking about this kind of decision even you are confused now very confused this meditation will help you there what you do you sit with your confusion totally don't fight you just check what is going on so you are here with on both the choices with their arguments that okay this is good this is good and this one is saying no no this is good this is good you just stay don't decide don't do anything and it will clear the confusions and you will see it is not really two or three or four i know exactly what i want and then so it is not the the cell phones which will attract you based on what they have now it will be your own clarity that what i want not what they have but what i want and now with your own clarity you will go in the market and check i have this it has this it has this okay so this is the phone i want maybe you know even maybe most probably it it, it might be none of them you will feel oh so both of these phones were not okay and trust me if you have purchased any of them you would suffer you will feel like oh it it doesn't have very soon you will discover it doesn't have this this feature but if you sit like this for some time you will actually become clear what exactly you are such searching for in this mobile phone now you will go with clarity in the in the market or on online so even this can work for this kind of simple simple situations so any situation whatever it is always prefer in the morning so you starting your day with this 15 minute uh, sitting for no other reason it's like you are just sitting to and uh, discover or enjoy whatever is happening so you are just close your eyes and you are saying okay let's see what is happening right now always right now remember this okay so what's happening right now you cannot imagine how much clarity it can create can can give you in, the, in just 15 minute just 15 minute you know? and uh, just you need to give give it a try i would say minimum 7 uh, days 3 to 3 to 7 days you must give it a try so that you see the power of it because <clears throat> it is very silent it works very silently so you will not get anything really out of it but uh, the power that you get out of it will be reflected in your actions in your decisions you know they will become more accurate you will become more confident you walk and you you know yes you know you are not like it will remove all the inner conflicts you know inner conflicts is the disease which everybody is suffering which is make, make killing you which is uh, uh, making you so weak that even a little bit of a problem tension in the mind creates uh, you feel like what is this you know whereas you are actually very powerful so it's like uh, any enemy comes out of you very easily able to overcome because you are fighting with your domestic uh, um, enemies you, know? you are always fighting trying to solve your domestic problems this will remove that domestic problems very easily you so you just keep keep sitting and uh, another situation might be a seeker searching you don't know what to do now i have tried i did this i did that i am not saying that you need to pay any attention to what i am saying about the details of this situation of the seeker and it can be anything you know 
and now it's like a deadlock. What to do now? Just sit, do this. What I am saying. Just sit and do this. That uh, what is going on now? Now means in this moment. What is going on? Because what is happening in in this moment of fifteen minute? You are present. You are present in the present moment. And truth is present here. Where in the present moment, truth is here. So you get connected to the truth of yourself. You get power. You get energy. You get clarity. And by just even one moment of touch of the truth can can dispel all your darkness at least for this day. You will feel very confident. And overall also. So for any kind of state you are in, it is a standard technique which can work for anybody and everybody, you know. And because we are not saying to do anything, you just sit. So, for most of the people, uh, this technique should be uh, used as that you are sitting and uh, checking what is going on. You are just checking. You close your eyes and you are checking what is going on. What is going on without trying to touch anything, hold anything, solve anything, change anything. You are just having an overview. And for those of you who are the seekers of truth and very going deeper already, then for you hold the position of the mirror of the awareness. Clearly, clearly hold this position of the mirror of the awareness. Don't move. For anything, don't move. Don't change. Let everything come and go, howsoever deep, howsoever intimate it might be. Let it come and go, come and go. The more intimate it is, the more uh, grounded you need to be in this. Very soon, you are going to lose the sense of location. Very soon, you are going to lose the sense of uh, being in this body, being this person or being anybody at all for that matter. So be ready for that. Be prepared. Don't don't think anything wrong when you are you are like this. So naturally, you will lose everything. You will lose the sense of location where exactly you are. You will you will feel like I'm I'm everywhere. You know, I'm behind behind this body. I'm in front of this body. I'm in this body also. You know. So it's like I'm not saying it will happen to everybody. It may happen like this. That rather than being in this body. Now it's like body is in, inside you. It's a very nice, simple, simple experience which which is seen in many people, or anything like this. So be ready for anything because it is an effective technique. It works. It is not something that first you do this and then we will see. No, it simply works. Just don't attach anything to it. That if I do this, then this will happen. No. Let us wait what will happen. Let it be a surprise for you. What will be the outcome of this sitting? But trust me, it will work amazingly, amazingly. Did I answer you? In fact, you guys don't notice maybe. Even in satsang, we are doing the same technique right now also. Unknowingly, you all are doing the same technique. When you are here, when you are sitting, what exactly you are doing? I mean, of course, you are listening to the words, trying to understand. But at a deeper layer, I see, I can see that uh, you are that mirror of awareness already right now. Now, what is remaining is, that you are not aware that it is already happening like this, you know. You are becoming aware, not but not fully aware yet that it is already like this. Because you are listening from there, you are seeing from there, right now. You are seeing from this mirror of awareness, right now, you know, right now. And there is everything in between, everything else. Howsoever 
moving, howsoever changeful, howsoever changeless, you know, like stable. The, everything is a bit in front of this. And in this kind of scene, when you don't hold on to anything, you discover the ultimate. If you hold on to anything, you discover only that much. Then, after that, you will have to again try, go deeper. So why don't you try the best? Why don't you approach in the best way? Don't hold on to anything. Only, only you are the mirror of the awareness. If at all you feel like holding, you will have to hold something, no? Because without any perspective, how you can do anything? So either lose all the perspectives or hold only this perspective of being the mirror of the awareness. Let everything else become like a like a soup in which is like mixing and moving and you know like just for 15 minutes. <laughs> Don't worry, you will get, gain the solid of objects and experiences and everything very easily. So you are not losing anything, you are just relaxing. But the effectiveness of the this technique depends on how much you allow, how much you are ready to 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 fall into this unknown. How much you are ready to lose the unknown known actually. You know? Because there is so much known to you which you are very easily able to lose. But there is something very intimate, myself. When it comes to that, we feel afraid. I cannot leave this, you know, I cannot lose this. Because when, when it starts coming in front of this mirror of the being, then you feel like, oh, no, it's too much, huh? Because then how I will I will go to office today? Because now this, this one who thinks will go to office is coming in front of this mirror now, you know. Then you feel, oh, then you feel, no, 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 I don't want to. Then it's okay. If you feel like stopping, you stop. Then uh, next time again do. Then what will happen is, then it, this will become a gradual process. Slowly, 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 slowly. So you do as much as you like. You, you allow this exploration as much as you like. There is no hurry. <laughs>